What's up, people? Welcome back to Everything Vegan. Tonight, we're doing Chef Ed After Dark. And what that simply means is that we're gonna be doing some mocktails, right? Um, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. You know, sometimes you decide you're not gonna drink and you wanna make something or have a drink that looks like it's part of the crew, you know, part of the cocktail crew, but we're gonna be doing a mocktail, right? And this particular mocktail, very, it looks fancy, it tastes fancy, and um, I, I think it's really cool, right? So ingredients for this is very simple, and no pun intended, but we're gonna use some simple syrup for this simple but tasty looking recipe. All right, we're gonna use fresh thyme, which I'm gonna throw right into my shaker, all right, some fresh thyme. And then I have fresh strawberries that I've quartered, and it's about four strawberries, all right? Throw that right in, put that to the side, and we're gonna muddle this baby. And muddle, what that means is simply taking something that looks like this, right? and squishing and pulverizing everything. This is what we're doing by muddling the ingredients, right? So by putting the strawberries and the thyme in here, we can infuse this drink with this beautiful strawberry thyme flavor. So in other words, and just by saying that, I think that's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call this drink strawberry thyme, right? Because we're using thyme and not T-I-M-E, but T-H-Y-M-E, right? And we're using fresh strawberries. So this is good. Once your strawberries have been pulverized, we put this to the side, all right? And then we can add our remaining ingredients, which will be, let's go with the simple syrup first. And with the simple syrup, I'm using about an eighth of a cup. Right, so almost one full of the larger side. If you do the small side, it's exactly the small side, but it might overflow, so I'd rather go with the big side so we have room left over, right? And then, we're gonna go with about a quarter cup of freshly juiced citrus, right? Now, I like to do a mix of orange and lemon, right? So I would say there's more lemon than orange in here, but it'll just give it a really nice Really nice flavor, right? Close it up, and we just wanna shake it up a little bit, right? Just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We don't wanna dilute this or anything, right? Because the other part of this recipe is we're gonna be using some ice cold water, right? Now, before you make this, you wanna make sure you have your glass chilled with nice ice cubes, okay? So try to either get some really nice deep ice cube trays so you can make some really nice blocks of ice. I tend not to use the ice that comes out of the freezer, you know, that the machine makes, the ice machine makes, because it melts very quickly, and I don't want that for these kind of drinks. You know, for mocktails, you don't want your drink to dilute very quickly, especially since there's not gonna be any alcohol. So um, it's really nice to be able to get like some really hard ice, right? So let me grab our prepped glass so we can continue making this baby, okay? See? So we have a nice tall glass, right, which is super important for the look and feel of this. All right, I'm gonna put in one sprig of thyme. I wanna get a nice long one, right? Just put it in on the side like that, right? Because you know, you know, you know. Okay, next up. Now, because we muddled this, right? Because we muddled it, it's gonna um, have a lot of pulp. Mm. So what we wanna do is we wanna double strain this, right? Super important. Some people might not mind the pulp, and if you don't mind the pulp, then not a problem, right? But we're gonna, we're gonna double strain this baby, right? Yes, look at that. Come on, bartender. Right? You could use a spoon to kind of press it through if you want, if you're finding it's giving you a little bit of trouble. Otherwise, you can just kind of 
knock 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 it on the side like that okay. see that beautiful color yes and as it's falling on the ice cube it's also getting nice and cold right so you have the cold you have the cold um, glass and you have the ice okay we put that there to the side right because we still want to be able to see this and then we're gonna top it off with some water the water right but that's about it we don't want to put too much and ladies and gentlemen this is our strawberry time drink okay cheers make sure you subscribe turn on your notifications and if there's a particular cocktail you would like to see, hit me up, send me a message, comment down below, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing these, you know, until I get bored and do something else, you know, but we're gonna be doing a lot of mocktails just because I decided to not drink anymore. Um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but um, in the meantime, I would like you to enjoy these mocktails that I'll be making, all right? Stay tuned, we're gonna have some more delicious ones coming up. I think the next one we're gonna do is a lychee teeny, right? And you know, when I drank lychee martinis is like one of my all time favorites. So that's what we're gonna have. So cheers, I'm gonna give this a little squiggly squiggly right here. And then we're gonna try it, right?